falling asleep. Oh, I can eat a cannon, beautiful. Have you always, have you always wanted to uh, eat a cannon as mystery at a seahorse? Well, now you can. I'm living the dream, baby. I'm living the dream. Beautiful. What do you want, kid? Hey, mister, are you going to stop the bots? I think they're cool. See that bot over there? I bet his uh, shark can destroy stuff that gets in your way. Thank you, little boy. I have no clue who you are, who your name is, and why you're even here. Thanks a lot. I only need uh, one last uh, spatula and I'm good. Hey SpongeBob, you need to find the key before you can go through the door over there. Those uh, robots are pretty tricky. Huh? See, I need a key, which is this. And now I'm free to go. I am free. I am free. And that's another key, by the way. There's like two different uh, color keys in this game. There might be a door color key, but I keep forgetting about it. See? It's a drill key, I guess. Pretty cool, huh? Nah, it's not. This game is... This game is okay. It's not the best game I've played. There's better games on the Game Boy Advance, like... Uh, Metroid on the, the SN I mean the on the Game Boy Advance, that's pretty good. Uh well Stock on Country, the uh, SNES port on the Game Boy Advance, that's pretty good too. And then those Legend of Zelda games on the uh, Game Boy Advance, those are good. I need something to uh, get me up there. I need this. Can I eat this? No, I can't. It's like, can I eat it? I knew so this game was gonna be hard. This game is easy. What are you talking about, Willis? What are you talking about? Now I get to play that stupid minigame again. Maybe I can do better this time. I missed it! I missed again. And I missed again. Screw this. Screw this, I second this one. No. Nuts and bolts. Now I got a uh, breathing limit in this game. That's beautiful. Hi, I'm glad you're here, SpongeBob. Those ordinary robots have taken over my tree dome. I know it's uh, pretty dry in here, though, so take a dip in my board bath if you need some water. That's a little uh, reference to a SpongeBob, by the way, because in the show, in that episode where um, it's like called a uh, tea at the tree dome or something, well, SpongeBob has tea at the tree dome. Uh, he has to um, both uh, drink the tea. And also uh, dive into the board bath in order to, uh, you know, rehydrate uh, himself. So, yeah. Now go stop those uh, robots. So, yeah. In order to uh, rehydrate yourself, you just gotta do a, a quick bath in the board bath. It's great. Good game design. Good. Did I just climb up there or do I? Is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's a little uh, test tube here, or a, uh, what is it, uh, a uh, microscope, because, you know, Sandy's a scientist. There's only one illusion to whole being a scientist in this game, and that's that uh, little uh, uh, microscope 
So, yeah. At least they tried, people. At least they tried. They had one job. Dip, dip, dip in the board bath. Flip a dip, dip. Yeah, remember that from like Gravity Falls? Uh, that uh, anti uh, dipple? And the anti dip was like, flip a dip, dip. I'm anti dipple. There we go. I got this. I don't know why I was thinking about Gravity Falls when playing the SpongeBob game, but I did. I'm gonna take a quick uh, splash in the board bath and then I'll move on. Oh wow, there's no one over here. I could have used that instead of, you know, backtracking. Is he a uh, wrestling ring? Or it could be a whole bed from uh, Pre Hibernation or. Wait, not. Pre Wait, it could be a picnic bed. It could be a picnic table. Or it could be a bed from, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Survival of the Idiots. So, yeah. I was thinking about pre hibernation week, but then I was like, nope, it couldn't be that. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell because it's a Game Boy Advance game. I mean, these graphics aren't bad in the, in the slightest. You can tell what is what in this game. It's not like a, a Game Boy Color game where it's kind of uh, iffy to tell what, what is what, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little bit off and you can't tell. Because you can't, you know, they can't do too much detail in this. They still gotta uh, hand draw this stuff and, you know, that'll make a. a um, what is it? A. Uh, You don't have to hand draw it, or have a pre rendered uh, 3D model. So, yeah. You can't do it too HD in quality and stuff. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just got. There we go. Inside the tree dome. Oh wow, I came back over here. How? How, Emma, how? Oh well, I need the water anyway, so I... Here we go again. There's a net television. Beautiful. I'm losing it. G give me out of here. Oh well. Well, wow, that wasn't too much of a setback, was it? It's as almost as if this game was made for kids. Almost. <laughs> At least I know where the uh, you know the portal is, so I can just get back over there whenever I need to.
There we go. I won. Go back. Going back. Squish. Gotta go back. <sighs> this is endless. Endless torture. You know, eventually I'll go back to playing E.T. on the Game Boy Advance, because I haven't played uh, E.T. the extra terrestrial in a while on the Game Boy Advance. Don't know why I haven't played that game in a while, I just, you know, haven't. Only got like one last Let's Play part on that game and I'm done, so... Should be easy, but I decided not to play the game just because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it in the, sli in the slightest. Nuts and bolts, ha ha ha, you get it cause it's a school and schools eat nuts? Ha ha ha. Attack of the steel of school, the, the robots say anything. Thanks for helping me uh, out with uh, those uh, robots, Spongebob, those uh, critters uh, sure do cause a mess load of trouble. Uh, Spongebob, look out, why, why that uh, robots are uh, bigger? Wait, I should, I should do some minor voice acting for this, because it sounds better, so let me do this. SpongeBob, look out! Why that robot's bigger than the state of uh, Texas, and it's, uh, it looks like me! You're right, Sandy. I wonder if it knows karate, too. You think you can handle it, SpongeBob? I bet if you stomp on its uh, steel head, you can crack its uh, helmet. Go for it. So yeah, it's a pre-rendered uh, uh, 3D model, if you couldn't already uh, tell. That wasn't hand-drawn. Same thing with a SpongeBob, that's also a CGI model, if you couldn't tell. The backgrounds are, are uh, hand-drawn and, and uh, hand-painted. You can tell those backgrounds are definitely, you know, handmade. Not handmade as in sculpted, but I mean hand-painted. -pa that's what I mean by handmade. Well, I won! I blew up Sandy. Beautiful. Way to go, little square dude. You put a horn on that uh, robot impersonator. Thanks, uh, Sandy. That robot's uh, karate is no match for my uh, trusty bubble wand. Attack of the Steel School. Beautiful. And next would be bring it around town. Uh, downtown, excuse me. So, yeah. Looks like I'm done here for today. I've been uh, recording for about an hour, so yeah, goodbye. Uh, see you later. Hope you enjoyed the video, and next time we'll be playing uh, Chapter 2, then Chapter 3, then Chapter 4 on this uh, never ending battle of Battle for Ki Bikini Bottom. And then maybe one day in the future, I'll, I'll play the Battle for uh, Bikini Bottom uh, PC game. Because uh, there's a PC game that's also different from the uh, console game and different from the uh, Game Boy Advance game. So yeah, goodbye, see you later, hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, see you uh, next time when I play, you know, Battle for Bikini Bomb for the Game Boy Advance. So yeah, goodbye, see you later, hope you enjoyed the video.